Hey guys, I'm Jax Austin, and this is Dan the Adventure Bus. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the things that I did to build Dan the Adventure Bus. Let's start first and foremost with the floor. These are reclaimed hardwood floors from the Northeast. It's a mixed species. Um, got it from a place out in Austin, Texas. Super rad place. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to do the hardwood floors as opposed to like laminate is I just wanted that like unique authenticity with this build. That was really important to me. Um, as you can see over on the kitchen area, uh, have like a pretty standard mini fridge um, with some melted ice cream pops inside. <laughs> um, the wood for this stuff, this used to be a barn rafter. And so we sourced this at a reclaimed uh, wood store out in Salt Lake City. And I had a friend of mine cut it and glue it together, and we put a uh, a sealant, you know, a sealant on the stuff. Over here, we have a nice little prep sink uh, with a hand pump. Uh, haven't actually used this thing yet, <laughs> so you know, I don't know. I'm just not like a huge sink guy. So here's a water storage system. These are just standard seven-gallon uh, water containers that you can get on Amazon uh, or over at REI. This is uh, for a pool, uh, a pool hose. Uh, you can get that at Home Depot, standard sink setup. Let's see, let's go over to the uh, living room area. Uh, these are all like nice little pillows that I got on Amazon as well. These are, um, you know, like Navajo style. Uh, and then under here is where the power is. I have a 255 amp hour AGM Lifeline battery and I have a Xantrex 2000 watt inverter and these are all powered by AM solar panels at 320 watts up on the roof. Over here I have a blue sky charge controller and I have an on off switch for the inverter right here. Um, let's see, <laughs> over in the uh, living area these woods are also reclaimed. Uh, this wood here is from the 1890s, and how I know that is that these are square nails that a blacksmith made by hand, right there. So, and these are little, the little drawer pulls are also old, reclaimed. I don't even know what they're called, but they're pretty cool. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, might as well show you what's in here. These are all kind of like organized. I got these cool drawer organizers. So I got like my um, bathroom kind of set up, extra Polaroid camera, stuff like that. Um, I got, this is my pantry. So I have a bunch of teas and stuff, peanut butter, little spoons and stuff. And then this is my favorite little toy. This is how I have hot water in the mornings. It does take a lot of energy but I highly suggest if you like tea or if you like oatmeal, this is a thing to get. Let's see. Moving on to the back, I have a nice memory foam mattress. This happens to be a yoga bed. Uh, you know, all of the memory foam mattresses are super comfy. I highly recommend them. Um, in the back, I use a surfboard leash as my uh, back lock. <laughs> so, you know, when you're downsizing, it's nice to to use things more than once. So if, if I can have a use for something for two or three applications, then it comes in handy. I use that for surfing and I use it as my lock. Um, over here is a nice little vintage uh, trunk. I, I thought to myself, you know, I had this dead space and basically I was like, you know, in case of emergency, it's really important to have a place uh, a place to take the crap. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the dump trunk. <laughs> so this is just a standard Theta Ford uh, porta potty curve. It's about 130 bucks. Haven't used it yet. That's where you. That's where all the action happens. Um, those are. That's where I drop the kids off. Not on the bus. Cool, so little storage area back here. Have some protein powder. Um, just got like a thing full of food right now. I have some shoes 
and some camera equipment. And I think that concludes the, oh, let's talk about this stuff. So these, this is cedar tongue and groove. Um, on the bottom part and on the top part, there's, it's like a one by one with the wood. And so we cut one of the grooves so we can create this cove lighting. It's like indirect lighting, cove lighting. These are just standard copper pipes. And we created this little custom feature here with the bracket and little back piece. And then these are actually end caps. Copper is really easy to screw through. So we just screwed through, we drilled through the copper ends and then we screwed into the wood. And then these are just nice. They're so light and so cheap. And it, I feel like it's super unique. So and the, these are just basic blackout curtains um, that were custom, you know, cut and sewed and all that stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Do you guys want to see the roof? Because they got something super special going on up top. All right, guys, welcome to Milan. Uh, this is me, Lan. Uh, I basically just adhered a piece of uh, AstroTurf with uh, liquid nails fuse it. Uh, you can actually use a fuse it in wet or dry conditions. So this is perfect for the roof. Um, pretty easy to put down. Just, uh, the, the white roofing stuff over here. This is uh, Henry's reflective roofing uh, paint. Um, but there's very little space, but if you don't put you know, grass on top or a deck, you gotta have this to reflect the, uh, the sunlight. Otherwise your bus will get super hot. And then here we have two 160 watt solar panels.